basic configuration. Trust Port Total Protection 2012 settings can be accessed via the Trust Port icon in the notification area. Select Configure to open the main window. The application consists of six major components. Antivirus Internet Protection Personal Firewall Disk Protection Data Shredder and Archive Encryption. For an online user guide to the software click on the help link or simply press F1. If you want to see information about the product and license click on about link. To switch the interface to another language or to register the software using your activation code click on the general settings. The antivirus is the principal component of the application. It is integrated into the Windows Action Center listing relevant messages about security of the computer. Notice the flag icon in the system tray. Should you need to turn off real-time protection, you can do so by clicking on its status. If the real-time protection is turned off, Windows Action Center will inform you about the problem. Normally the real-time protection should always be turned on. If you wish to scan your hard drive, removable media, system registry, or any selected target, click on Scan for Viruses. A window will open showing the progress of the scan and the statistics on healthy and infected files. Sometimes you might like to take a look at the files in the virus quarantine or at the antivirus logs. Please click on more functions if that is the case. The antivirus logs list all events like past scans, updates, errors and so on. In order to protect a flash drive or other portable memory media, it is possible to export the antivirus directly to that unit. It will then protect the unit with any computer you're using. It is also possible to create a recovery boot disk for the extreme case of a serious rootkit infection. For further information about this feature, please contact us at email support at trustport.com. There are two available methods to create a recovery boot disk. To change behavior of real-time protection and on-demand scanning, please click on Configure. You can set up here the default action for a file wherein a virus is detected. Whenever the selected action cannot be applied to an infected file, the next action in a row will be performed. If the file cannot be renamed, it will be moved to quarantine. If it cannot be moved, it will be deleted, and so on. The application inspector monitors all executable files being launched and stops any suspicious activity. For details, go to Expert Settings. Should you need to turn off application inspector you can do so by clicking on its status. By clicking it once more you can turn it on again. Let's take a look at the application inspector configuration now. You can add here any executable application that you want to block. Simply click on add and locate the X file on your computer. If you later try to run an application 
which is not allowed, you will get a message about the application being blocked. The Internet Protection The Internet Protection monitors all HTTP and POP communication. It is also able to evaluate and block in real time inappropriate web content. Should you need to turn off or turn on the Internet Protection, you can do so by clicking on the status of its individual components. For detailed configuration, please go to Expert Settings. You can use the Configure button. In the settings, you can see and configure the plugins for the five most common email clients. A detailed configuration of the mail antivirus is also available. Infected attachments within emails will be removed and the email subject will be changed according to the settings. In addition to automated spam detection, you can manually add addresses to the blacklist in order to block emails from them. You can also add addresses to the whitelist in order to exclude them from anti-spam control. The anti-spam has default sensitivity, defining how strictly the emails should be evaluated. Should you need to increase or decrease the sensitivity, click on the advanced button. Change the spam PAM threshold number. The bigger is the number, the less sensitive is the filter. Let us turn attention to web surfing protection now. It checks all HTTP communication for malware, and when found, it will show a warning page, instead of forwarding the page or document to the browser. Thank you for watching this and see you in one of our other training materials.